Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Party members, what is going on? Time is running out. The day is drawing to a close, and you just know if those fire elementals get out at night, they will ravage the town because all the wizards uh, will be, be sleeping fine. and they won't be able to wake up and cast their rain spells. What are you going to do? Well, like I said, I need to wait 15 minutes for my prayer to finish and my spell to change. Mm -hmm. And then well, we should we should go try to track down um, Layla so we can falsely accuse her and then find out that it wasn't her and the real villain can pop up. Yeah. hundred percent. Well, first of all, I really, really like this idea of Doreen looking if the fire marshal has anything magical on him. Yeah. So I change cause fear to detect magic and then look at the fire marshal. Uh, Perhaps his game is a staff of fire elemental conjuring. So uh, the fire, as you're memori re memorizing your spells and like you find a quiet corner where you can sit down and pray uninterrupted where these people will be around you, you kind of got to like consecrate the area a little bit by, I don't know, how do you consecrate an area? Hands. Probably just laying the hands out like they're not alive. Got it. Them. Yeah. Perfect. Meanwhile, while you're changing your spells, the fire marshal moseys on up to the rest of the party. And I think we'll try. I think we'll try to like keep him in conversation while. Well, well, well. Look who we have here again. You know, I've been to three fires today, and the only thing saying between them is that they were caused by fire elementals, and the uh, the four of you were all here. Well, well, you know, yeah. the ones... look what we have here. You on the scene while the fire elementals were raging around. I'm yes. sorry, have I introduced myself? My name is uh, Timothy, and I'm the Fire Marshal. It's my job to investigate issues of arson in town. Mm. Of yes. course, yes. I show so up we at every fire. Fires. We were facing down the elementals, so they were facing us. And you came from the other side, so that means that you were that you are the one who is behind these fire elementals. That sounds Why? like the same sort of logic that people might... Uh, Used to confuse. You know what you are, Mr. Uh, Viglaf? You are fake news. Well, I wouldn't go so that far, but it is a bit convenient that you were, that you were basically already on site. But Fire Marshal, it's my job. But how did you know that the elemental? Then why did it take you how did so you, long How do you last not time? tell where there are fire <coughs> elementals? They're giant flames. Come on, it's a really easy job. <laughs> Yeah, and why isn't yeah, the last time at the one that took like 40 minutes for us to get there? You were there before us, and yet you still are thinking, hmm, it's these guys' fault. One of the ones that have taken down all five all right. of the fire elements. Well, let's let's try and de-escalate this situation we've got going here. Did you uh, see who started the fire? Well, I no. saw the house that where the elemental appeared. It was that one over there. But... Mm -hmm. Do yes. you uh, know who caused the fire? Mm, no. Well, so what you're saying fire... is that no one knows who started these fires. No one knows who's caused them. Whoever is doing it is getting away with it. Good to know. Yes, you are. Well, we are trying, of course, to catch the culprit. But really, what is your stance on this? Since we are trying to catch the culprit, what My stance think? is that fire is a, a nasty creature. It yeah, lives and with if its you've own... investigated all three of these fires, what have you found out so far? Well, uh, you my conclusions are uh, Maybe you are not conf... a fire marshal. Maybe you are a liar marshal. <laughs> oh, I'm not in charge of keeping people honest. That's not my job. The, the liar marshal is a... Uh, he works next door to me. Not, you know, different job. Sit, we share a wall and a, a common room and a bathroom. Let me tell you. Maybe that's um, how you conjured the fire elementals with your lies. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Ignoring our... That's actually a possibility. Yeah. Maybe someone is lying so much that they're producing flames. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. All <laughs> being confirmed. Ignoring our 
big mouth companion here. What is Hard your con what is your conclusion so far? What do you, what did you find out? My investigation is confidential until it has been completed. I can't uh, disseminate information from it. It so might what you're compromise saying is you the investigation. You haven't actually found out anything, and you don't want to admit it. This is why we don't share details of investigations until they're over, because the general public, like you all, are uh, incompetent imbeciles who will miss interpret information no offense no, no. we are just on on our we are also trying to catch the culprit it wouldn't there is it wouldn't hurt if we had more information about what is going on currently we are just trying to you know keep yeah uh, constantly keeping the fire elemental down but that you is not no that's a pretty good argument there give me a charisma check for how good it is because i feel semi-convinced by that but guathir can sometimes be kind of a dick you know, he has oh, actually not this like, time. It's oh, he's like, no, he's oh, come on. We, are, we are on your side over here. We are, we are keeping the fire elementals from destroying the town and trying to catch the culprit. Yeah, it's like when someone who's like really high and mighty and hoity toity is like totally condescending, but they're absolutely right. They're just doing it in a condescending manner. And you're like, fucking hate you, but you're actually correct right now. Fine. All right, all right. Let me tell you what I know. Maybe we'll, together we can solve this thing. There have been five fire elementals spotted. Uh, they've appeared in different parts of town. One outside of shenanigans, one on the west side, one on the east side. Well, three on the east side. Wait. And uh, it seems each Wait, group gosh. of fire elementals seems to be getting stronger and stronger. You know, first it was a, an eight hit die, then it was a 12, then it was three eights. I mean, next time we might have two 16 hit die fire elementals, and they have plus 15 to hit, so we really don't want those guys cruising around. Nope. Nope. Yep. He has, like, he goes through I a have... big book, with which is called Monster Manual or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, God. It all makes sense. It does? Get to the library! What? And Big Rock starts read? running to the library. Okay, he runs. Uh, what else do you have? Can he even <laughs> read? He <laughs> runs towards the library. He no, starts <laughs> pounding the streets, uh, heading off. You ask him what else he have, and he's like, "Well, there have been no witnesses, so I presume the the fire bug that's been starting this is uh, doing it in uh, alleys or out of sight. They know that there's a, a danger, and they're uh, keeping a low profile. So I feel this is a very intentional." Causing of fires, and the next question is, uh, Que Bono, who benefits from this? I shout back as I run, No, I have solved this. Follow me to the library. Does it's anyone follow French Vigloff? <laughs> follow me, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly speaking Elven follow me. these days. That's <laughs> um, not Elven, it's maybe that's like the Akuban Elven. How would you? Uh, never mind. <laughs> right. um, so you guys head out, and a few minutes later, Doreen wait, wait, comes wait, out wait. of her trance yes. Yes, and like wait. has her spells memorized and gets up and goes into the street, and all of her friends are gone. And there's the fire marshal talking to somebody across the way. That's fine. Um, I cast detect magic. All right, you cast detect magic, and um, you notice two things. First off, uh, his cane that he's always leaning on is magical moderately magical and he has a uh, highly magical thing in his pocket also neil i did not say i, I did not follow weak love i mean that's crazy he's just an <laughs> why would you follow weak love when we have a good plan here i I'm still under the belief that Vigloff can't read, so I'm going to go to the library because I too can't read, <laughs> yeah. and that will solve the problem. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Y'all's those of you that went to the library arrive in the library. Magic. All right, Vigloff. I knew I it? could count on you. Yep. I, I run into the library and I find the librarian and go quick. You must show me you have all the town records here. You must show me all the properties in town that Big Ben owns. The oh, librarian goes, shh. And carefully 
starts going through some records because the library is also the hall of records for this town. Same, same. Yes, Normally you might have to go to the town hall for that, but this luckily you, you got to the right place. It and, is a well uh, established canon. The, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say canon in a library. It's very loud. Uh, the, the librarian eventually produces a piece of paper that shows that Big Ben only owns the brothel. It's the only property is owned by him the whole in the whole of the town. Ah, oh, damn! I thought this was an insurance scam. The librarian says. I just feel the ogre cannot help himself but be loud because he's an ogre. <laughs> he just has the booming voice. And he's big laugh. Right. Yeah. So back on the other side. Doreen, you're in the alleyway. You've got your hands back on you. You've seen these two magic items on him, and you notice Gwathir standing nearby. I call Gwathir over. Mm. And, and for some reason, he has a glass of wine. A new fresh glass of wine. Where the wine keeps coming from, nobody knows, but it's always it's there. Yeah. He's gotta have one. Right. Alright, so... His walking cane is magical, and there's something very magical in his pocket. Hmm. Maybe oh, ring. I that. I have Maybe heard that too many times. You so. are at the library. From too many priests. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think what we need to do okay. is get him to Desmond. We could attack the fire marshal to inspect what the hell is in his pocket. Could accuse him right here, but that could go down poorly. I think what we hmm. want to do, what, what, where are the other two? Uh, they went to the library for some reason. Okay. It would have been a really good plot twist if it was an insurance scam, because we saw all those little gnomes running you up. You are at the library. Things. It all makes sense. <laughs> he screams in the library, nobody listening. The librarian kicks you guys out. You are talking too loudly, and there are plenty of students here trying to study. Uh, they've got essays to write, and you're just... You're making yeah. it too hard on Nerds! Them. You guys right. have been kicked out. <laughs> All right. So, so, bring him to Jasmine. I have an idea. Right. What we need to do is say we need to go back to the scene of the crime where it all started and look for more clues near Ben's brothel, but actually bring him into shenanigans. All right. Or well, I, have an idea. I bring him over to Big Ben's brothel. You go into shenanigans and get Desmond. All right, uh, I have an idea. I talk to him. I, I will talk to him. Uh, Guafia goes over. Fire Marshal, a word. After talking with my, well, now one companion over there, we think if we work together, maybe we should look at the where the elementals first struck, the first scene of the crime, to look for more clues, and maybe at the, also the same time talk to Desmond, because he might have an idea what is causing all of this. You saying this to the fire marshal? Yeah, yeah. he goes over to the fire marshal. Seeing as he is... Well, you know, I'm continuing my investigation right here. But, well, I, su I suggest and, if you want to keep all in record, it would be a good idea if you come with us. And uh, I suggest you don't tell me how to do my job, young whippersnapper. Hmm. Of course, I not want not going to tell you how to do your job. It was a suggestion, of course. Good, good. Excellent. I kind of give it Arena a eh, look. And uh, the fire marshal continues to go and talk to people. Yeah, uh, the rest I of the party thought... somehow gathers up Wait, together. What, what, what's Doreen doing? I'm following. They kicked us out of the library for being too smart. It was embarrassing all the nerds. Uh -huh. Yes. Pretty sure it, it kicked you out because you can't stop yelling. Because I can't stop yelling smart things. Mm. So we are following the fire marshal? Mm hmm. Doreen is. Mm hmm. Oh, Doreen is following the fire marshal. Uh, so I guess you guys are all hanging out, probably right outside of shenanigans, chatting. Um. And unless that's where the fire marshal goes, I'm not there. Okay, so you just you hang out near the fire marshal. Right. Well, is the handmaid? She is busy. I, I, I assume Doreen is following him, not all of us. 
What is she doing? We, we have a lead. Um, anyway, what did your trip to the library bring? Did that give uh, you any clues? No, no, it didn't. Yes, as, as expected. Um, so, yeah. yes, three. That would have been a really good plot twist. It would have gone back to the very first thing in the opening sequence, which would have created the beautiful framing effect for the narrative. You are you are expecting too much out of this, Ogre. Anyway, Doreen is following the fire marshal right now, trying because she sensed something of powerful magic in his pocket. So, we will see. I just want it noted that I am the one who assumed that Neil would have a beautifully crafted narrative, and it was Bastion who said I was expecting too much from him. I don't, I don't know what you were talking about. Who are these people? I want to point out, before this session started, Neil straight up said, yeah, I don't plan. Yeah, he did. My plan, session but... is beautifully crafted, even if it is it crafted is. on the fly or spontaneously it is. It is five seconds into crafted. the game. Maybe, maybe my dear yeah, Olga, it maybe it's crafted. Yeah, do not mistake maybe. the amount of time someone works on something for the quality of which that item is. Also, my dear Olga, maybe because it isn't such a, you know, foreseeable narrative, that is the true beauty in it. It would be kind of predictable if it was something, you know, predictable. It would be predictable for a story to embrace the Aristotelian forms, but yet it is good when they do so. Well, this is, from my experience here, this place has nothing to do with predictability. Or rarely does. Hmm. Anyway, what are we doing now? We sh if some, we should keep an eye out if something is happening. Or we are going to get Layla while Delina's following the marshal. Perhaps the party should be together so we can all fight the thing. That'd probably be a good idea. Let us go to Doreen. So you guys all go and find Doreen. Mm -hmm. yeah, she is uh, lurking around the, the fire marshal who's still conducting his investigation, asking questions. Um, the four of you are together. You may speak. All right. So two things to know. This cane that he's walking with is magical. It's fairly magical. Not very powerful. But he has something in his pocket. Yes. That is so fun. what are we going to do? He we tried to lure him back to shenanigans, but that hasn't worked now, right now. So, are you sure he has something magical in his pocket? Maybe he's just happy to see us. <laughs> so we can try to accuse him. We have nothing um, to go on other than. He's I mean, got we could just an ask him what he has in his pocket. I mean, just... to be fair, uh -huh. I have a very strong magical item right now. It would be a very ironic twist to the fire. That's fair, but the, the fires. only thing that has been there at all of the fires is us who have fought the fire elementals, but also him who hasn't. And to be fair, he is the fire marshal. Oh my god, you, so no, you are saying it was no, us the entire no. time? That would be even more ironic. Anyway, we could him ju just ask him what he has in his pocket because it is highly magical. You can't just yeah. ask people what's in their pocket. Sure you can. Bilbo does it all the times. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we could just ask him instead of just crafting this con convoluted plan. Oh. Um, so you guys are watching. The fire marshal seems to be done asking someone a question. Uh, he like walks past a building and like heads into an alleyway. You creep up along to like view and you see like he gets in the alleyway and taps his walking stick on the ground and it like rises up to about like a height of maybe eight feet at the top and gets a little bit thicker, almost like a, a big red pole. And as it like rises, he's still holding on to it. And he like goes up to eight feet off the ground and then he slides down the pole into a hole and the hole and the pole and the fire marshal all disappear together. 
Huh. Tricky. Well, huh. uh, it was impressive. It was both longer and thicker. What do you think? Go to the fire marshal's office? That would explain how he gets around so fast. Hmm. Mm hmm. It makes the magical thing in his pocket even right. scarier. Are we uh, prepared to, without significant evidence, hold the fire marshal? Could you just ask? I mean, we could just go to him and ask him what is in his pocket because it's a powerful magical item. And without are, significant a evidence, is how we do things here. And. Hmm. There is a powerful magical item missing that is about pocket sized that can create portals to a fire elemental plane. Nope. It can. It's all pretty circumstantial. But though. then if he like emergency summons all the fire elementals he can. Uh it'd probably take him a while to do that. So what I are you guys gonna do? We're running out of time, hurry! It just goes I say we go to the fire marshals and confront him. Yes. Let's just go to the fire marshal. Right. You head down to the fire marshal, right next door to the liar marshal's station. Uh, the two of them are side by side. You see the liar marshal out front, standing around, arms crossed, looking back and forth. The liar marshal is a, a young man, and he sees the four of you come right up and goes, "Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing yeah, here? He I work here. What are you doing here? We need to ask you a question. Is the fire marshal trustworthy?" No one's trustworthy. That's how I keep my job. Uh, enough of this nonsense. We have to Wait, have so if he is the this. liar marshal, then he's saying everyone is trustworthy. No, I'm the marshal of liars. I, I control those who lie. I myself speak no lies. So then you're leader of liars. So I am the no punisher of liars. Do you play a liar? I do not. I play a loot. We don't have time for this. We that just is a true statement. We are we have to see the fire marshal. All right. Uh, I saw him leave the building and have yet to see him return in. Ah, oh, goddamn it! All right. We should okay. get something to tie him up once we have captured him. Is the wire marshal next door? <laughs> oh, God. He passed away today in a raging inferno. Oh my. <laughs> All right, you know what? Shenanigans. Which means all of his stuff is free. Shenanigans. So they turned him from the wire marshal into the pyre marshal. <laughs> it was horrible. I could anyway. hear the screams, the creaking of the metal, the popping sounds. Again, we don't have time for yeah. this. When we Spare found him, stories. he was just a small pool of metal on the ground. Spare, Spare your sob stories for someone who cares. We don't have time for this. He pulls up like a flat piece of metal. This was him. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait, yeah, just... you're saying he turned into liquid metal? He was melted and flattened. Liquid Gone. metal is my enemy. It's not liquid anymore, Figloff. It's now solid. Don't worry. It uh... cooled off. You know, once liquid metal gets cold enough, it, it solidifies, and, and that's you know, what happened I here. Have, yeah, I have the nah. feeling that... When the, li when the liquid metal became solid, I thought it was over, but then it became liquid Shut again. Up. Shut then up. maybe anyway. I should hand this to you, and he hands you the little plate of metal. Oh Keep an eye on it for me. I have a feeling there is someone trying to distract us from solving this mystery. Let's just get <sighs> on with it. You guys have, don't have enough time, but I'm not going to let you go because I'm going to distract you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are there any windows to the fire marshal's office? Totally. Big windows, yep. Cool. Let's look in there. He's in there. He's in there. Yep, he's All sitting right. at his table, doodling. Hey, liar, hey, liar marshal. Yep. Without moving, is the fire marshal in? I don't know. He left, and I haven't seen him come back. Yeah, okay, he's in there. Let's go in. Hmm. How did he get in? There's only one door. It plus the door that he shares with me. Shut up! You shut it. What if he made a back door? Anyway, we just go in. <laughs> you bust into the fire marshal's spot, and he's sitting there at the table, and he looks up and goes, "Oh, how are the fellows?" There's only eighteen minutes oh, left. That. We know it was you. So that was what your 
magical walking staff did. Now, what's the thing in your pocket? Well, that's a very forward question. Uh, you should ask a man to dinner before you ask him what's in his pocket. There is a powerful magical item in... What, which pocket, Doreen? Will you come with us to Applebee's? I'm, I'm now, just wondering if you're moving in his right pocket. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> Only the finest of dining at Applebee's. I'll say which pocket it was. Applebee's has great bargains and fun desserts. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Rob. Applebee's is not sponsoring this week's show. This week's show is brought to you by California and Galita. Save it for next week, okay? They're next week's sponsor. Would you like anyway, to come to Hamburger Habits with us? There we go. Anyway, there is a powerful magic item in your pocket. A powerful magic item that can create portals to the fire elemental plane is missing. Which is about that size. Well, I'll conduct my investigation. You conduct your investigation. Why Seems are you uh, dodging the question? There is yes. no question. There was What's a statement. What's being confirmed for? What is the powerful yeah. magical item in your pocket? None of your business. You can hear is the liar it? marshal outside saying, That's not true! Okay. Color spray! Uh, you color spray the fire marshal? Yes, I got You're a second spray. level? Um, and I have a def. Oh, no, wait. I can cast it 1d4 levels higher. I cast Seven. it at level 6. I'm nice. at 6 wizard. Boom! He falls to the ground unconscious. All right, let's see what it is. Um, it's this weird little, uh, box with gears and turny thingies in it. Okay. All right. I'm going to tie him up and remove his staff. You tie him up, you remove his staff. Okay. All right, what are you doing now? We should probably bring him to Desmond. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. This... Thing. But wasn't the thing that was missing from Desmond's place a circle? We don't know what it is. We don't know, Neil wouldn't say. No, I, I specifically remember seeing a circle in the dust. It, Desmond had like marked around the, the dust. Yeah. It, it got mixed up and confused. No, yeah. that was definitely your initial description. Anyway. It doesn't matter. To Let's Desmond. just hope this is it. Let's just hope this is it. What do you do with the fire marshal? Uh, we go over to Desmond's, I would say. Okay, so you, you take him with you? Or just yep. leave him? Yeah, all right. Yeah. You haul him over. You have a, an ogre, so you can easily carry him. Uh, you get back to Desmond. He's a, You see Glibglob has been tied to a chair out front, <laughs> and uh, there's a little sign across him that says, I've been a bad boy, um, and that's it. Perfect. Yep. Mm. Uh, you get inside. The bar Desmond. looks pretty clean. Desmond's wiping his hands away and handing over some gold to a, a cleric, or I'm sorry, a wizard who nods and takes the money and heads out. All right, Desmond, hold on. What, to Let's what? Go the, Let's go in the back room. Whatever, just say it in public. Is this right. it? Yeah. Hey, my portal generator. <laughs> okay, the fire marshal had it. Son of a, is this him? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's take him over to McBoof and uh, let's see what he has yeah. to say. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, you guys lock up the fire marshal in jail. Uh, McBoof the town throws him in jail, locks him up, you know, throws away the keys, sentenced to the basic, you know, it's a 20 year sentence, but he's already an old man. So he's probably going to be here for the rest of his life. Hold on. I want to find out why he did this. <laughs> yeah. Why? What? After he wakes up, you want to know why? There's no fires in this town. There's nothing for me to do. It's a job and I just sit in an office all day by myself. So, I never wait, get to wait. talk to people or see anyone. I'm so alone <laughs> all the time. Feeling. I just wanted I to get to know the people. You have a job is where you, you get... don't talk to anybody and you just sit by yourself and you're lonely. That is what Facebook is for. What's a Facebook? I have no you idea. You get paid to do nothing. And I want to do something. All the faces. I just then all that time you're doing nothing, do something. And no, but I gotta technically... be on the lookout for fires, and I I have to create a can, fire you, to get me out of there. You, you can go around a town on a but on a patrol a looking for fires. I can't understand people. anyone. There's too many people talking. <laughs> you're a dumbass. 
He has no response to your insults. I mean, no, that was that was a statement of fact. Just imagine all this that... time you had. You are a dumbass. I mean, you could have just left town and gone to the elemental plane of fire yourself. I can't survive in the elemental plane of fire. I mean, yeah, of course. How could I? How could I survive? I mean, you yeah, could have taught it. classes on fire prevention to kids, and then they could have slid down your pole, and you could have put a fire hat Whoa, whoa, on whoa, hold on there, buddy. <laughs> I ain't into that sort of stuff, and if you are, you should probably be in here with me, but not in here with me, like in the next cell over. Don't anyway, go talking I about think... kids sliding down my poles. I think that's concluded this business. <sighs> All right, the fire marshal the is jailed. on it, too. Um, he's also going to jail for murder because he did kill the wire marshal as well. Uh, that no. position will not be refilled. They're actually closing down the wire marshal's um, position in the town. No one really knows why there was a wire marshal or why he was made out of wire. Uh, <laughs> but we've all decided that we don't need that position anymore, so it's it's done. Next time, we need a new fire marshal. <laughs> oh, slowly. So we are slowly I, replacing I all the leadership in town. Plate. I'm keeping an eye on you. All right. So we gain a teleporting Three power pole. Uh, yeah, sort of, kind of. Um, that pole, it, it's just, you know, it's not around anymore. Where'd it go? Excuse you, I took I, it off of him. <laughs> I know, you took it off of him. And now that you guys are leaving the, the jail, you're looking around and the pole's not, it was in your hand a moment ago. All right, I go back in. Is he mm -hmm. in there? Yep, he's in there. Does he have a staff? He does not. Mm. Fine. All right. All right, then. Well, time to go I back. I think Neil made something that was very good for the character, but then he realized that if we actually had it, it would be insanely useful. So it only takes you to the away. fire marshal station. It actually would probably help the campaign run along because then you could like run out and do a quest and instantly teleport back to Berkshire. It'd be right. super useful for the party in like a good way for the game, but um, it's gone. It's, mad. Oh. it's just gone. I, again, I don't know this, Neo, what you're talking about, uh, but I think we have just enough time to quickly get Layla. All right. Oh, I thought you were going to say that without the la. No. All right. I was going to say that's not how this show goes. It's not how this show goes, Rob. Please. There are children and watching. I think we quickly run like a mile to the north. <laughs> Get Layla. <laughs> yeah. You guys run north and you find uh, tied to a tree north of town, gagged and bound, Layla. Outside of the road. Ah. No, we, we cut her free. Okay, yeah. The oh, fire no. marshal! He stole oh, my shit! He took it, and he's... And I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but he took it, and it's a powerful magic item, and you have to stop the he's fire in marshal! Jail already. Stop, stop. We, we got him. We got oh. him. Hold on. Well, what took Only you that's... so long to find me then? Oh my god, I've been tied up here all day. You stole uh, we got the box. What? Probably your punishment because you got you took a powerful portal creating magic item out of Desmond's stash. <sighs> Whatever, it's my dad's stuff. It's basically mine. <laughs> you gotta ask him. All right. Anyway, come on. We got you. I mean, imagine if you had like taken a powerful cursed sword or something out of there. Torque, you take the back. I'll take the front. Oh what? Back. What? <sighs> what? Back. back in front of what? Well, they're still a mile back to town. We got protector. Yeah, that's not a good oh, thing to say around an underage girl. Test the ogre. Well, with... you're the one taking everything the wrong. Yeah, way. that one's on yeah. you, buddy. That one's on you. Uh, you guys make it back to town. You bring Layla back to shenanigans. And Desmond, after hearing the story of what happened to Layla and how she was kidnapped and possessions stolen from her and how you guys came to her rescue, although a little bit late, agrees to let you keep two of your four magic items. But you Ooh. have to decide which two get kept. And you have nine minutes to do it, or no one gets any magic items. All right. Oh, God. It's actually Talk eight minutes. Oh, wait, wait. Did Talk have any other magic items before? Not really. Not really? Yes or no? no. Uh, 
I got I got a continual light pebble. Okay, besides continual light pebbles, those right. things are worthless. Obviously. That's what I got. Um I would say talk because we got magic daggers last time. I'm planning on actually giving my magic dagger to Kyla since oh. I can't use bladed weapons. That would be good well. since it's basically for the rest of it's only good for eating magic steak. Right. They can only be hit by plus one so steak knives. We let Torque have the most powerful item we ever had. <laughs> Torque gets the most powerful item ever given in shenanigans. So we have to decide the last one. I, I have to be honest, I don't need this crossbow. Right. right. So. so is it the mace or is it the other sword? I would like having the mace on level six, and all I really have is a magical water breathing scarf. And you know, like oh, 25 man, AC, whatever. And magic a bunch missile, of magic missiles. Cleric and wizard spells, undead hands that do my domain and my minion, my bidding, whatever. I mean, it's up to you guys. Don't let me judge. You're judging. I, I judge so hard. Get out of us, Neil. So personally, I probably have let Rudolf have the sword because Doreen has plenty of magic. Okay. <laughs> it's already strong. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm. That is my opinion. In this, not speaking for the party here. Do we, are we going to bring it to a vote? I, I'm fine with this solution. I support that solution. Of course. <laughs> Dorini. All right, whatever. We'll never find another magical uh, morning star. This is a mess. Don't really, you don't really need it anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, you have magic. You already have darkness in your one of your hands. So. Fine. All right. Uh, so. Torque gets a... What, what are the properties of your sword? Uh, it's called Joyous. What I remember is some of the important stuff. Plus uh, four, it can it's curse plus people. Four, yeah, and it yeah, can you curse, people. curse people. Yeah, you gotta like point it at them and be like, fuck you, or something also, like that. Right, right, if it okay. Hits them, if it hits them, there's something that they can be cursed oh, yeah. and be afraid of the sword Jesus forever Christ. or something. Way too <laughs> yeah, they're afraid sword. of the sword forever. They get like a permanent minus one, minus... Some to save okay, or cool. something. Which is um, next to the sword because oh. pretty much everything we attack, we we kill it. Kill. We don't, right. Like, <laughs> we don't. We don't leave survivors. Well, but no, the but thing is, the... like, it will affect him for the rest of combat. So that's useful. Yeah. Um, uh, Torque, also, next to the sword, sense. would you write uh, the number one three seven seven? That is the page <laughs> on which this weapon can be found. So that way, if we yeah. ever have any questions about it, we can look it up. Page 1377. And the other thing that gets kept is the uh, the lolly lo 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 sword of wounding. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it had a name. It was so-and-so's sword. It started with an L, maybe? No. What's that? The, the... 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 Yeah, yeah. The it was something. The... H... It was that one you tried RJK. to create a spoof name of? I think. A... Uh, Lafarlin's Lafarlin sword. Yeah. Great. And could you write down 1380 on your character sheet next to the sword? Because um, it's plus three and of wounding. <laughs> Bless you. Wonderful. Thank you. And that way, if we ever have any questions, um, we can figure these things out later. Wonderful. Um, the party also gets a small amount of experience for completing today's quest. <laughs> um, there was 12,000 experience from combat alone, uh, plus completing the storyline, the, the today's quest was worth 1,000, uh, finding Layla was worth 500, and let's, yeah, and we'll divide it by four people, and we'll add a little bit of role-playing experience in there, and we'll add some extra experience for some good puns, and why doesn't everyone take home 4,100 experience for today's adventures? Nice. Four thousand one hundred. Level one up. Damn. Yeah. Let's see. Sponsor. I'm level three. Level two spells. Yay! How many did level I get? Level five. Again? How many spells per level? Oh, whatever the book says. No. Oh. It's shenanigans. Uh, oh, that wasn't good. To take three. Oh, three. Nice. Um. What was it? Eight. Come on. 
Oh, no. Ah, that Ooh. Nice. Tough. Up. Tough. 17 HP. Nice. All right. Let's get this. Uh, let's so get that's this an extra three going. HP total, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're multi class, yeah? So when you level up, you get no, half no, the no. HP. I'm, I'm single class wizard. Why do you roll a D4? You just... and a... Oh, the D4 is not your HP roll. The D4 yeah. is the extra higher casting level. Never mind. Yeah, Sorry. The class Sorry. Play. Getting right, confused. Here we go, boys. Roll it. Roll it, Torky. Big money, big money, big money. Uh, uh, average money. Uh, average money. Average money. Yeah. Lower than Low average. average money. Six or seven. It's, it's just a close. You know, five, six, seven, eight. It's all all average for a D12. Um, anyone else level? Vigloff? Uh, at least one. You can only six, level once, so I'm if up you... to 6,629. Oh. So that should make level you level three. Beforehand. I was second level before. Okay, yeah, so you're, yeah, you're level three. Give us a, a HP roll. Alrighty, let's see. And it is a D12 plus three. Do you have 17 con? My god. Or is there like an ogre HP bonus per level? I well, ogres cool. get a bonus to con. Of course, they also have a maximum intelligence of 10, a maximum charisma of 10, a maximum wisdom of 9. Oof, tough. Maximum dex of 8. Really tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, like uh, most of my rolls, I had to lower. To yeah, the, I, could, the maximum. I, I could still defeat Weeklof in one round <laughs> because of <laughs> Carlos Frank. All uh, right, so let's see. I now have a plus 12 to hit. Oh, God. <laughs> B12 so I got plus another three. plus two master. You have a plus four sword. Uh, Maybe plus eight. Not very bad. nice. Very nice. Slightly below good. average, but I'll I, take it. Same Five CP. And oh, yeah, I can now increase my proficiency skill levels. <laughs> no CP. Dude, the yeah. D12s today are not good. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that is it for today's shenanigans. Oh, that would have been so nice. <laughs> oh, too late. How yeah, much I HP do I get for leveling up as a DM? <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty average. Okay. Right. Pretty average. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just gonna grab a handful of dice and mock throwing it at you, mm. and whatever hits is what you get. Oh no! It's like it has whatever bounces off of you and lands. Like that's how much you get. But you're Connor, the DM. you go to yeah. the nuclear submarine, fill a fill a rocket full with dice, and fire it. That's the way you deliver them. Mm, mm, I see. Yeah. The nuclear dice explosion. Yes. Beware oh, the nice. shrapnel. Well, that's it, everybody. We are out. We're done for the day. We will be back next Saturday with more shenanigans. And um, that's it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. It was fun. It was fun. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it we was, all had a good time, as we always do. And a nice bit of XP, like getting the characters yeah. along. One of these days, though, you're all going to wipe. You're all going to die, and you'll have to make new characters, and we'll all be back at first level. level yet. You want Doreen to wipe? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, you know, we'll kill everyone. We'll just, we'll see, we'll throw like four <laughs> Trasks at you next week or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, after this session, I'm kind of just assuming <laughs> things are going to start ramping up. I don't know. We'll see. Every week is different, you know? Every week is yeah. different. All right, we're out. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Good day. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good night.